Hello, hello. Welcome to the Deborah Berry channel. If this is your first time, I am Deborah Berry. This channel is about fashion and styling and, and doing everything we can, ladies, to hold on to our pretty. It is about getting dressed and looking our very best. That's what we want to do, right? Get dressed and look our very best. And welcome back. Welcome back to my returning subscribers. You know I love you. I thank you. I do, do so appreciate you. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, everyone. How you been? Another week, another week. And, you know, it's going to be spring in a minute. It's going to be spring in a minute. Even though here in St. Louis today, it started out at 29 degrees. But that's okay. The sun's out. I'm here with you. And we're going to have a good, good time. We're going to have a good, good time. So let's start with, we want to start with the lips. I have on Prada. I call it Prada Pink. But it's the fuchsia, the number. I wrote it down at 307. No. P55 Fuchsia. It's the monochrome hyper matte. I showed it to you before and I thought let's do a little pink pink pink. Can never have too much pink. You know I'm a girly girl so pink is my thing. It's my thing. It's my thing. Oh you know I remember the case. I love that. I put on also Pat McGrath's lip pencil in 307 Night Fever. It has kind of a, a pink tone to a deep so I put that on and then I put the Prada, Prada pink, I call it, the fuchsia on. On my nails, hey, black, <laughs> black. I broke this nail the other day. Look at her. I have nothing here. Nothing. That's okay. I love them sometimes when they're all just this length. But this hand, I've got a little, little bit of length. But it's the black. It's uh, Olive and June and it's just called SD. So just a nice bottle. Sometimes you want a nice black polish. I love black. I love chocolate brown, black, a deep, deep plum, anything that looks almost black. And I love wearing it in the summer. I love wearing it in the summer. It looks much better when my hands have a little color. They won't have that to me sometime when I can get out in the sun. So how's everyone? Okay, let's move on to new things. And just two new things. I promised you Last week when I talked about all the Pat McGrath and I said I'm going to get off of that train pretty soon until I got, you know, I wanted to get some of her fragrance. So I did. I finally chose the one I like. I like the uh, Good Girl uh, Blush. When I went, they had Good Girl Blush Elixir and they had just Good Girl Blush. And I, I played between the two and I love the Good Girl Blush a little more than I did the Elixir. And I went looking, you know, until Dillard's had that, and I was going to go to the Herrera site and get it. I was in Macy's returning something. Uh, Saturday, I think? Friday. One of them days with my husband. And I, I said, well, let me go over to Macy's see what they got. They had gift sets coming out of the kazoo. They had this thing about spending so much you get $30 off. I said, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. So I did get, I picked this up. Caroline Herrera. Look at the packaging. Oh, oh, oh. This is a gift set. And it was regular. We had $198 up here. And then they had uh, it's a $232 value. They offered it for $172. But then I got $30 off of that. So she's gorgeous. Look at the ribbon, you know. So let's open her up, see what's in this gift box. You know I'm going to keep that beautiful ribbon. Look at that. It's pink. It's got her HCH. <laughs> I keep saying ACH. It's just HC. Let's open her up. Mm. Okay, sorry. Some, my eye is itching, people. So, look at this gift set, though. Look at that. You get the high-heeled shoe. I, you know, it's starting to grow on me. Even though I said I love a nice cut glass bottle. Some because I think because it's pink. I think because it's pink. And you get this little travel take with you. And you get this is... Let me put my glasses on. Heaven help me. Perfume body mist. So it's, it's another spray. So let's see if I can get some of this out of here. Because I want to just show you one of them. Without breaking a nail or something. Oh, there we go. There we go. We coming. We coming. Come on. I'm gonna get this. 
of course you know me when I have some of this package you know how crazy it is I almost got it ah. got her anyway there's that this is a little spray you can carry with you in your purse mm -mm -mm. and I'm gonna tell you as much as I love fragrance and stuff I'm not that person who will I'm not spraying this on my clothes. I see so many YouTubers do that. Sharon, I saw all the time. I'm not spraying cologne on my clothes. I'll put it on before I get dressed. And I may spray a little bit here or there or, you know, but I'm not spraying it in my clothes. Just to me, I don't know. I can imagine spraying this on this white and if it stains. So that's my problem. I, I, I don't spray it on my clothes. But I want to uh, give you an idea of what this beautiful blush smells like I've looked up the um, the notes where is it I got the box sitting on it you know she's always ready <laughs> good girl blush features sustainably sourced vanilla and oh, wait a minute elang elang do you know that word y-l-a-n-g I didn't know how to pronounce it I had to look it up it's elang elang it means flower of flowers and it's a whole I the Google gave me so much information on it but it's a beautiful flower that has this wonderful fragrance to it that's used in a lot of, of, of colognes and stuff and they were I looked up good girl blush and this is what it told me it said she is feminine and beautiful and for the occasion it can be worn day or night and olfactive family ambery floral and fruity and that's what she is she's ambery she's floral and fruity and the fragrance is a blooming it's blooming and powdery and I love a powdery fragrance that is what I knew that I would love it because it has kind of a and I can smell I can smell a flower in there kind of nice kind of nice really nice so okay that's a good girl blush but I didn't stop there I also Remember I told you I thought I had found a Gucci fragrance I like? It wasn't Gucci. It was Dolce & Gabbana. And they had it there. I'm going to show you that one next. Put this on. But Carolina Herrera, Macy's. I will list this. You got to get her, ladies. Hmm. Or one of them. You know, they have all of them. So next, come and move right along. D&G. Look at D&G's box. Just look at the box. Look at the gold and the white. And the classic, just, it's just, it's embossed. It's just, you know I'm going to keep these boxes. I love the boxes. So let's open her up. And this one is called Devotion. It's D&G Devotion. Now when I told you I like pretty bottles, look at that bottle. Look at that bottle. Look, this is all raised and embossed on here. Just like a crest sitting there. Look at that. Look at that. Let me read you the Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. It's called The Sacred Heart. Top notes of fragrance opens with the tantalizing Gowerman notes of candied citrus. So we got the top notes. We got candied citrus and heart. The heart is called. It's got the top, the heart, and the base. The heart of it is the luminous freshness of orange blossoms. So orange blossoms at the heart. Remember we got the candied citrus orange blossoms. And the base, the warm sensual touch of vanilla. Transport the senses to a sweet and sophisticated destination. I love it when they do all of that. But look at her. Look at her. And you get this one too. Maybe I can get this one out easier than that. Yes. Thank, thank you, Dolce. I think, yes. Look, it's cut. It's cut. It's cut. She smells wonderful. There's a new one that just came out. And the lady kept trying to sell me that one. I sprayed, you know, she sprayed the cards. I went, mm. This one, I just kept coming back to this one. Now, I don't know where I'll stick her on me just to show you. But, oh, this one. Come on, let's spray. Let's spray, spray. Oh, there we go. You got to cool it down, son. Oh. Mm. 
I don't like that better than the blush even, you know. But I got two that'll be, you know, you know how you have fragrances that make you feel a certain way. This is wonderful, wonderful. Dolce & Gabbana uh, Devotion. Look at the bottle. Look at the packaging. Oh, my. Oh, I was thrilled. It was like Christmas. I forgot how much this one was, but I'll list them. I don't know if Macy's will still have that $30 off, but, you know. That was a pretty good deal to get $30 off. And then she rang them separate for me. If you've been in Macy's and she rang the first one, I got the $30 off and I, I earned a $10, uh, that money they have, you know, that the little things they give you at Macy's. I can't think of it right now. So she, I could use it immediately. So we rang the second one up and I got $30 off of that plus the $10. So, yes. So, Dolce & Gabbana. And then Madam Queen herself, Carolina. So I want you to check those out, ladies, if you're interested in fragrance. I haven't bought a fragrance in probably eight, nine years because I had my, my tried and trues that I wore. And I'm not quick to jump on a new fragrance because, oh, this is new, this came out. I have the ones that I love, you know. I, I love my Flower Bomb, the regular Flower Bomb, the first one. And there's a... a Germain, a Guerlain uh, fragrance I like called Moi. I love that one. It is so powdery. Those are my two absolute favorites. And they're getting, both of them are getting low. And I thought, it's time. Let me do something different. So those are uh, those. Those are those. She's so intelligent. Now, let's move on now, ladies. Topic of the day. Topic of the day is, you know, Banana Republic had the 40% off sale. I talked about that last week. I think it's over with now. And I went in and I bought two skirts and a pair of pants. And I bought them in, let's say, I bought black, I bought white, and I bought like a neutral color pair of pants. And the, the skirts are linen. And oh, I, I, I hate that I didn't get the skirt. It came in a tan. It came in black, white, and it came in a tan. And why I didn't get that one, I don't know why. But I didn't, and then I went back to get it, and they didn't have my size. They didn't have it how I want, so I just let it go. But I got those, and I thought, hmm, I got to style these. And I kept thinking, these are neutrals. So I decided to do a video on how can you, you know, like, stand out in neutrals in the spring. Because, you know, spring comes, everybody's pulling their colors. They're grabbing their pinks, their or orange, as my girl would say, Tashara would say. The oranges, the greens, the blues. Excuse me. They're grabbing all those colors. But you can also stand out in neutrals in the spring. And that's what today's video is all about. I, I set up my rack. I, I took a picture. I'll put it up here. I tried to do a video on my phone, but I don't know how to take that phone video and transfer it to the computer. If I figure that out, I'll show you a little footage. But the photo will show you how I, I separate everything and hang it up and, and put it together. And I pull the shoes, I pull handbags, I pull the pieces together. And what I did with these neutrals was to put them with other Banana Republic pieces. I think I used an H&M piece, an old uh, top I had, and a mango top. Other than that, everything is all Banana Republic. You know, I heart Banana Republic, don't we all? So I'm going to put those looks together for you and show you some neutrals. And get ready because we all have neutrals. And if you've got the neutrals, you can stand out in those neutrals and look classy, look nice, and you'll always be, you know, on trend even you know, and you can always take these neutrals and blend them with some color too but i'm going to show them as neutrals i'm going to do the tans the whites the black the off-white you know and just keep it really basic for you because if you can do those if you can put those pieces together you can put together anything you can be classic simple and pretty right <laughs> your fashion your style your age your choice so I'll be right back with the first look for you ladies and I'm so happy you're here thank you thank you okay ladies this is what I call basic classic neutrals simple the white asymmetrical this is a banana republic top I got 
before Christmas because I wore the black one. I got it in black and white. And I wore the black one, I remember Christmas Day to my son's house for Christmas. Anyway, and the Michael Kors belt, remember the one I kept saying I want to take back, but because it has this right here, it goes well with pants. My little brooch, simple earrings, and these are the pants from Banana Republic. I will list these. I love it when they do a classic pleated pant that's high-waisted, you know, and I get them in a size six, and I get them in a long, and they're really long. Got the Michael Kors belt. I stuck on the sunshades because it just seems like I needed some shades on with this look. <laughs> but check it out, ladies, and on my feet, on my feet, let me sit that down and this down. On my feet are my Viscomudo coconut cream pumps from last year. Classic, simple, easy. Easy, easy, easy pumps to wear. And especially with your longer pants, put the pumps on. Simple, classic, simple, and pretty. So comfortable, and it's a neutral. And you can go anywhere with this. You could wear this to church, you could wear this to lunch, you could wear this to dinner, you could wear it to work. <laughs> you know, just hanging out with the girls too. It's a good, comfortable look that we all can wear. A pair of pleated pants that come up, look at that, really up. I recently ordered three pair of pants from Banana with the 40% with the off. They were very casual. I ordered them, I sent them, had to take them back, I ordered a bigger size and none of them fit. The crouches were pulling, the waists were too big, they weren't cut. It was a hot mess. I was like, what is going on with banana? I stick with the classic cut. This classic cut works for me because I have pain. I need to lose this gut and I need to work on that and I am working on that. So in the meanwhile, this works even when your body's not exactly how you want it. It works because it's, it's flattering, it's form flattering. You got the pleats, you got the pockets, and you got this nice wide leg. And this fabric, I don't know what it is. I thought they were like a pair of khakis, but they're much lighter weight, really nice cotton, nice tone to them. This very neutral, neutral color that'll go, you know, Imagine all the neutrals you could wear this with, your whites, your off-whites, with black even, you know. And you could put a color, something that has a stripe in it, that has that color in it. You could still, you know, you could put this with your pale yellows in, this, in the summer a little bit, or, or, or a pink even, a soft pink, and not too deep a pink, a soft pink. <laughs> even though I got these fuchsia lips, you know, I, I just, with all of this neutral, I could have put, I thought about doing a neutral mouth, but I would look so washed out with a neutral mouth and this, but the black nails work, right? The black nails work, so. And I love, you know, I had to go through and getting ready for this video, dig up my neutral bags. And this is one of my favorite Michael Kors bags that I had a fit to get. I don't have carried it yet, but it's a great one. I love the size of it, the color of it. They don't even have this anymore. This was a good one I wish they would redo, but it's so cool. So, my fashion, my style, my age, my choice. Look at that, ladies, you can do this. You can step out in this and just be fabulous. So I'm gonna do another look with these pants. Each, each item, because I got the two skirts and I got the pants, I'm gonna do two looks with each one. So another look with the pants, but this is a classic way to put the pants on and be out the door, you know? I'm good to go, I'm bad day. So I'll be right back with the next one. Okay, ladies, same pants. Different top, different um, color combo. This is the black shirt I bought at Banana Republic. I have this shirt in white. It's oh, I've got a little thread there. In white, it has the deep French cuffs. Look at that, beautiful. And it has this panel piece sewn in here. I don't know if it shows up on camera. And they call it a tuxedo shirt because of that piece set in there. The white one is beautiful. I've, I've worn the white one in a several videos showing you. And I have on the same pants, pulled out my Coach. I love this bag. I got this bag about three or four years ago at the Coach Outlet. Look at that. 
It's got the tan, it's got the black, it's got the cream, it's got the pearls. I carried her to church yesterday. I had on all black and just put this on, you know, to break it up a little bit. But again, these pants are really nice with this black shirt. And I'm not big on black cotton because you know when you wash cotton, sometimes it kind of fades and I don't know how this one's going to do, but I love it. I love the, the shirt tail and back. And this would be an easy one to belt too. Put a belt on and change the look. Uh, just have on my Mark Fisher. I have to think. The Mark Fisher. Uh, I call them baby doll uh, mules. They're kind of like a baby doll mule with that little strap. I never go wrong with these. They're a perfect little shoe. I wish they'd do them in a red or white even for the summer but I love these I have them in gold I say that every time don't I but I, I think Macy's still has them I don't know it no I think I got them at Macy's I'll list them just check them out they're comfortable easy to walk in and they work so this is look number two with the uh, black and neutral pants the black blouse and I recently just to let you know I bought a black blazer, I think I told you, a black blouse that sheared, that can't, came with a tank, and I bought a little short sleeve black blouse. So I'll be showing you those in some future videos. I got those at Dillage, really nice. But again, here we go. We are ready to go in our black and neutrals. Black is a neutral and khaki and tan. So this is a look that we all can wear, all sizes can wear. This big, nice shirt and put your pants on. Just, you know, get up, get out, get up, get dressed, and look your best, right? Mm -hmm. So, we're going to switch over to a lighter shade on the next video. I'm just sitting in the bag there because I may pick one up again with another look. We're going to go a little lighter and see what we can come up with to show you neutrals. I think I'll do one of those skirts for you to show how I put the looks together with those. But you see how the black nail polish is catching on this? <laughs> the pearls got to brighten it up. I got all my favorite Tory Burch pearl earrings. You guys need to order these. Lovely, lovely. I still haven't ordered them in the gold. They got them in all gold. So I need to order those. I need to order those. I need to order those. So I'll be back with the next one for you. Let me make a quick change and see what I can come up with to help you, you know, decide. Because sometimes people get caught up with neutrals. I don't want those dull neutrals. But you can stand out in neutrals. You can stand down in neutrals, and neutrals will go far in your wardrobe. They will go far, and that's what we're all about here at the Deborah Berry Channel. <laughs> Trying to go as far as we can when we spend that dollar, right? So, I'll be back with the next one. She is ready, 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 right? Look at this. My favorite Banana Republic blazer from last summer love 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 this blazer and uh, this is the black linen skirt and i think i got this one in a tall it's a medium i got it in a medium i think i got it in a tall it's lovely it's linen it's no waistband just come down kind of a line almost like a, a the slip skirt in a way because it's got that you know i'd rather just come out but you know nobody listens to me they just don't listen why won't they listen Anyway, I love this look and I still, I just grabbed this bag again, added an old brooch, added my necklace from Dillard, the T, the cross with the pearls, kept the Tory Burch earrings on because the little Tory Burch logo and the cross kind of, kind of goes together and then I got the pearls. Simple pearl bracelet, white watch, and she's ready to go. She is set. She can go to church. You can wear this to church for Easter Sunday, couldn't you? Yes. I think I'd put a flower over here. I'd have a pen, a flower. I'd add maybe a flower, but. And I thought these shoes were a little much. These are the ink, uh, you know, my shoes from last year. But it's okay. Sometimes you have to be a little extra. A simple pump would do too. And the Mark Fisher shoes could have done, you know, those little baby doll mules. That's a good name for them, the baby doll mules. Though that's not what they're called. That's what I call them. Anyway, this is a great look, ladies. Another great neutrals. It's all about black, white, tan, bone, cream, off-white, 
all of those that's in your neutral family. You can never go wrong. Forget me for sniffing. It's that time of the year, right? But look at her. She's ready. She is good to go. And you can wear this lace. This is a tank top sweater I got from H&M. I've had just a V-neck H&M sweater. I wanted something lightweight to put under here and not too, you know, in the, in the sleeves. I didn't want anything with sleeves to put under here. Just great because this jacket is so precious. You remember, it may remind you of my Talbot's jacket, that white one I showed, but it's of that, that kind of weave where it sheds. This is linen, this is laid down, this has got the, the uh, blanket stitching and the piping. <laughs> you got to love that. It is gorgeous. I fell in love with this piece. Can't wait to wear I haven't worn it to church yet. This would be a good Easter outfit, like I said. Any of them you can wear. Look at that. I love it. Are you loving it? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm having fun. You know when I get to dress up, I have fun. And I know every video is the same. She's putting on some clothes. She's showing us this. But that's what this channel's about. It's about getting dressed and looking your very best. It's about you know, taking advantage of your closet and just adding what you need and putting together the looks. So I'll be back with the next look, ladies, because I got, what, how many more? Two more to do. I got another look in this, and then I got two more in the, uh, and don't forget, stick around for the finale. I got a piece you're gonna love. It's different, and it's not different. It's, it's a good neutral, though. It's a good neutral, and I, Went out on a limb on that. I don't know when I'll wear it. I don't know that I'll be comfortable wearing it, but uh, have a piqued your interest. <laughs> you gotta stick around for that. I'll be back. <laughs> Simple, black, and white. Always right. <laughs> Look at this, ladies. This top, I don't know if you remember it. If I had, I did a video on it where I got this top and another top. I did some looks with it, but I love this. It's a heavy cotton t-shirt type knit I got from uh, Banana Republic last, I think it was the end of summer, towards the fall. It has these little tucks right here that makes a little peplum. It's a Banana Republic belt. This is the Banana Republic linen skirt again. Michael Kors bag, Michael Kors necklace, Tory Burch on my wrist, Michelle watch. Just simple gold hoops. I just thought I'd just do the simple gold hoops this time. And on my feet, ah, oh, these Franco Sordo, I think they're the sling bag loafers. They have the little thing in the back. They even have a little coin in them like a penny loafer used to be back in the day. If you're my age, you'll know what I'm talking about. But they work well. I think they come in other color combos. They still have these at Macy's and Nordstrom's probably. I'll list them. I mean, they're comfortable and they're cool. I just thought I'd pull it, you know, bring the look down a little bit and make it a little more cash. And then my course bag works with it. This is so cool. And this is simple. You, you know, and if your arms are wider, it's like not real tight on your arms. It's got a little flare to the sleeves. It's got those little tucks, even though because of my behind rises, it's not laying flat, but that's okay. We don't worry about that. We got the belt on, we got the skirt on, and we are good to go. I love this skirt. I hope it wears well in the summer when it's hot and you gotta have this on. There's no lining, so you can feel the breeze that you're gonna need when it gets hot, but this is cute. I like it. What do you think? Would you wear this? Would you? We could all wear this. So, that's the look with the black skirt. Now I'm going to uh, put two looks together with the, the white. It's kind of an off-white linen skirt and see how we can do. And I don't know if it's long as this one. I think one of them I got in a tall and one I got in a regular. So I think this is the tall. So the other one may be maybe that short. I'm not even, I'm talking to you and you're like, what are you talking about? But I like the length of this one. Really nice, really nice. So coming up, we're going to switch to the lighter shades, lighter shades of neutral with the black and the white, the black and the off-white, the tones, the neutral tones are something we can all have in our wardrobe and, and look fabulous in and, you know, and, and always pulling these into your wardrobe, there's always something to wear with them because we all have 
this type of stuff, right? You should. <laughs> Coming up, we'll switch to the lighter side of neutrals. When I say keep it neutral, <laughs> let's keep it neutral. How about this, ladies? I mean, I am neutral to the bone, as they say, neutral to the bone. This is all simple, classic neutrals. And I thought I'd pull out the Quay sunglasses, though they're in a blush, but they go with all of this, this neutral I'm, I have on. <laughs> a little shade always helps, right? Let's sit those down. Uh, neutrals. Neutrals, neutrals, neutrals. This is the skirt in white linen, and this one is the tall. The other one was the regular length, so this one's just a, a little longer. I don't think I got, I love it though. Look at that, it's in the white. It's in the white, it's in the white, it's in the white. <laughs> and it's, I just, Michael Kors, of course. This is the, a mango blouse. It's in a kind of silky looking fabric in a neutral shade neutral earrings got these a couple of years almost three years ago at Nordstrom's white watch I got that I put back on the uh, banana cream pumps Vince Scamuto with this great look great great nice look I keep wanting to do this because I want the pockets to do like this but they are like this they're safari pockets I just feel so neutralized, so quiet, luxury type, you know, with the simple ponytail and the, and the uh, earrings. And then, you know, I'm gonna tell you a story right quick. I'm gonna make it quick because my battery's getting low. There was a bag I wanted for this video that was Tory Burch. I ordered it, it didn't come in a week. I called, he said, oh, it was a big sale. It's gonna be a while. I called this just last week again. It was lost, so I got credit for it, but I'm gonna get that bag and I'm gonna show it to you. But I wanna get it for that price and not for the other price. So, just a little frustration here that I would have had the perfect bag to go with all of this. But Michael's going okay. And I can still grab this, even though there's no black in the outfit, this would still, this would add a little more contrasting color. I think it actually looks better with it than just that. So. One more look, which is going to include the finale. So stick around for that, and I appreciate you being here. You know I'm here every Thursday just for you. So give it a thumbs up, share, like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and come back and see this old lady play in her closet. Because <laughs> old women like to dress too. You're never too old to get up and get dressed and look your very best. Remember that, ladies. So put your pieces on. Put your shades on, you know, and get to stepping. Back. Here we go again, ladies. Neutral, neutral, neutral. Nice, nice, nice. Look at this. This is the white skirt again. Same shoes. All right, and then we got this lace top that I've had probably 10 years. I'm sure 10 years I've had this. It's an old Karen King lace top, really nice, long sleeves, V-neck. <laughs> Have you noticed? This is a Banana Republic blazer. It's an old, I think about two years old now. Tuxedo blazer, the satin. I have this in an off-white and I have it in this color. And I started to pull the off-white one, but I thought this one will go just perfect, just perfect. Look at this in the Tory Burch classic Eleanor bag. She is good to go. She is dressed. She is ready. Okay, ready, ready, ready. Look at that. Oh, how wonderful. Put that together, change, put the Tory Burch earrings on, kept all the other jewelry. Now, I am going to show you a piece that I got in the sale that I'm trying to do this before my battery runs out so <laughs> I want to show you this but again ladies I want to reiterate that the neutrals how wonderful they are in our wardrobe let me get this other item for you I'm going to step away because it's behind the camera and I'm going to put it on for you I'm going to show you this I'm so excited 
Ta-da! And the finale. Look at this. It's an off-white satin trench coat. I know you've seen it if you've been on the banana site. You've seen this coat. Look at her. She came in black too. I should have got black. She was a bear to sting, but I did it. So let's put her on. Should I take my jacket off and put her on? I'm gonna put her on to show you how this looks. I guess I should take my blazer off so I can get a real good fit. But again, just to show you, I'm having fun with you. Take my jacket off. And these jackets are so well made, ladies. Look at that, inside pocket, everything. Banana spares no detail. No detail. Okay, let me set this blazer over here. And let's put her on. I still got the tag in here. I got her for little or nothing. I got her for little or nothing. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh. Princess, Princess! Look, look, look. Let me let you get a look. Look at that. Look at her. Look at her. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm like, okay, I'm feeling myself. I gotta calm down. Has the tie belt. Tie it up. Cinch it up. Oh. <laughs> Now this is the one you go over to your man's house with just a little teeny stuff, you know, the little lace lingerie on because this feels good on the body. Get this tie just right. But, and I think they still have some of these lakes if you want to get this. I mean, I got it, I think under a, almost like maybe 104 or something. I don't know. Really inexpensive, but I am so afraid of it getting wet or dirty or... Well, I wouldn't wear it in the rain, but if you've got a special fur to go to and you want something nice to put on, and I got it in the small again, I wish I'd got the medium so it'd be a little bigger. So maybe go up a size, because I don't think I could have gotten this on with the jacket, but that's okay, I got it on with this. And it's lightweight, so you're gonna wear it over a nice, soft dress or skirt. Look at those sleeves, look at those sleeves. I mean, you could fold them back if you wanted to. Look at that. She is gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Mm. Mm -mm. I guess you want them pretty umbrellas. Again, don't wear it in the rain. I wouldn't wear it. It's not for the rain. It's just a, it's like a dressy trench coat to wear out. Imagine put your big pan up there, put this on. I mean, I just want to give you a chance to look at her, look at her, look at her. Okay? <laughs> well, that's a finale for you, right? That's a powwow finale. This necklace is not laying right for me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you come back and see me next week and we'll do some more fun things. But hey, was this not fun doing the neutrals? What's in your closet? What neutral pieces have you bought? And go check out Banana because they're going to have another sale. Just put them in your basket till they mark them down again. I hope they're still there in your size. But I'm sure you all have some neutrals, some khakis, some tans, some browns, some off whites, some creams, some blacks. Those are the neutrals. Till next week, ladies. I love you. I thank you. I appreciate you. And remember, leave a little kindness everywhere you go. Come back and see me next week, okay? Bye bye.